Hi everybody, welcome to another episode of Combs Teeny Tiny Town. Today we're going to talk about gondolas and some ideas for loading those suckers up and making them look a little bit more nice than an empty gondola. Okay, so let's have a look at some ideas for loads that you might uh, come up with for those empty mill gondolas. So the first one here, uh, if you're like me, you probably have lots of leftover spare parts, bits that you have taken off rolling stock and upgraded. So uh, for, for example, I have all these plastic wheel sets. So what we're looking at here is a Rapido mill gondola. This is from an earlier run. It's in uh, the Canadian National, I think that's delivery scheme. And what I did is I just took a lot of these old plastic wheel sets and thought, hey, this could be something made into a load, a load of scrap metal. So I was inspired by something I saw online here. So I used a bit of paint um, and weathered uh, a few of these wheel sets here. So it would be, I think, a little bit tedious to hand paint a lot of wheel sets, but you know, something you could do on a rainy day or a cold winter day. And uh, my goal here is to paint all these wheel sets up eventually and have a realistic load of scrap heading down the track toward uh, a steel mill somewhere. All right, so that's one idea. So next load uh, is also inspired by those little bits and pieces laying around. So this is another Rapido mill gondola from their more recent run in that uh, Action Red uh, CP Multimark scheme, which everybody loves. So here what I've done is I have all these bits of plastic leftovers. Uh, these are Katie Coupler uh, gearboxes. So every time you buy a, um, a set of Katie Couplers, it comes with these plastic gearboxes, which usually I don't need. And mixed in there, I have some plastic railway ties that, you know, again, were cut off uh, when I'm laying track and I keep them all. And, you know, stuff is still attached to those plastic sprues in there. So I could probably play around with this a little bit, do a little bit of weathering, and come up with a realistic load of scrap metal heading, again, to that scrap mill down the track. So again, just another idea. So don't throw away those plastic bits. Keep them just in case you decide you want to create a scrap load. Okay, this one here, this is a Walther's mainline gondola. Uh, it's a little more basic model, a little less detailed than the Rapidos. And I actually have inside of it a, a cast resin heavy scrap load, which you can, you can purchase these. And they're quite nice. They're detailed, weathered, painted, and they fit right into the, the, the model. Now, I think, I think these are sold out currently on the Walther's website, but uh, they may run them again, I'm, I'm sure. I guess the downside is they are expensive and, you know, there's a certain uniformity. They all kind of look the same. So it's another idea, but uh, you may look to other manufacturers for different, different pre-made loads like this. Now, last thing I will mention here, this is uh, something inspired by um, uh, another modeler online. This is a Concor mill gondola, a basic model similar to the Walther's model. And what I did is I used just uh, items around the house here, plastic drinking straws painted flat black, wood stir sticks that were cut down to be closer to scale size lumber, and painted, glued together, to create uh, a load of pipe. So this was my first attempt doing this. Uh, again, I took the idea from someone uh, who had posted about this online, and I think it's a good idea. I think it's uh, another way to create a load that looks pretty realistic. Um, so again, I might make a few changes going down the line. You might weather the pipes a little bit more than what I've done here. But again, another really simple idea to make those mill gondolas look a little bit more realistic. All right, well, thank you so much for watching. If you like what you see, don't forget to like the video. And if you want, you can certainly subscribe. And I'll be happy to uh, have you as a subscriber. And I will uh, upload other videos with similar kinds of content in uh, about my adventures in model railroading. 
All right, everybody stay safe, take care, and keep on model railroading.